Hi, I'm Brant at Crocker Farm and I'm pretty excited to show you today what I would consider almost the pinnacle of rarity in American stoneware. This is um, a pretty elaborate ink stand and most collectors of American stoneware have probably seen one of these um, as a German example or otherwise um, European example. Um, when you see those, they're sometimes passed off or, or attributed um, incorrectly as American. And you often find collectors saying, boy, if only that was American, um, that would be a heck of a piece. Well, this is an actual American example. And off the top of my head, I can't think of any others. I'm not saying there aren't any. I'm pretty sure I probably have seen one or two. But I can't think of any off the top of my head. Um, as you can see, right across the front here, it boldly says Ohio, uh, which is very cool um, and should particularly interest collectors of Ohio stoneware. Um, we would probably attribute this as Ohio, uh, even if it didn't say that. It's pretty clearly of Ohio manufacture based on the clay color, uh, the color of the cobalt, and some other aspects. Um, I'm going to take these out before I kind of pick it up and show it to you because I don't want to break anything, but also I'll show them to you. Um, these are the wells, um, and people would get their ink out of those. And then here's the sander. Now, if you look closely, you probably can't see this in the video, but you can actually see where the, uh, these pieces were when the piece was fired. There's actually little shadows here where the glaze didn't take. So this was actually fired as one uh, unified piece, which I thought was interesting. You can see down inside, here's the trough where people could keep their writing instruments. Now, over here we have an incised uh, floral design and the date 1829 and that's quite early for Ohio stoneware. Um, it's estimated that um, the first Ohio stoneware was made around 1820, uh, maybe a little earlier I would say. So this is pretty early on. On this side we have another incised design. It's a vine or some sort of a, a leafy branch. And, and these incised designs are also somewhat unusual for Ohio stoneware. And then on the bottom we have a more specific date. We have incised April 16th, 1829, and that's washed over in cobalt. But as I said, this is about as rare as it gets for an American stoneware form. Uh, it's a, even though it's so rare, it's sort of a coveted American stoneware form. And when we got uh, we received pictures via email of this. We were pretty excited just to see this piece. We were even more excited to get it in the mail and be able to offer it um, for sale on March 2nd as part of our first 2013 stoneware auction.